right, world, it's the mighty mean Joe Frazier here. Another episode of Fist Physics. Today we're here to talk about possible matchup between these two monsters at uh, light heavyweight, Adonis Superman Stevenson. Now, a lot of people are probably thinking right now, what are you doing, a matchup review for uh, the Sergey Kovalev fight? Wrong. We're here to talk about Adonis Superman Stevenson possibly taking on SOG. Andre Ward in the future, possibly the end of 2016, early 2017. I think this is an intriguing matchup between two southpaws, and I'm looking forward to this fight. It's it's it's, it's really a pick 'em fight. I think a 50-50. Really wouldn't know who to go for, but I would definitely pay to watch this fight go down. Now, let's talk about Andre Ward real quick. Just a quick review of uh, his stats here: 28 and 0, 15 KOs. Standing at 6'1", 71-inch reach southpaw. A little bit about Andre Ward for those of you who don't know who this is. Who don't know who Andre Ward is. He's probably the most avoided guy in boxing today. A lot of people are saying Triple G is the most avoided guy. But people are calling G's name out. They're guys who want to fight G so they can make good money. Whether or not they win or lose, I don't think they even care. You know, but they there are people who are calling G out. Nobody calls Andre Ward out. Andre Ward has to go and search for challenges. Nobody wants a part of this guy. To me, in my eyes, he's the most avoided guy in boxing today. And a fighter who was living in the shadows of the great Hall of Famer, Floyd, pretty boy Mayweather. I think if there was no Floyd Mayweather, we would actually be talking about Andre Ward as one of the best fighters of this era. I mean, the guy's that good. I have yet to see Andre Ward in a situation that even seems like it's challenging to him. All his fights that he's been in, this guy has been completely and utterly dominant. He's dominated every single fighter that he's been in the ring with. And then we go over to Adonis Superman Stevenson, hailing from Canada. This guy is no joke either. We're going to review his stats right now. 27-1. and one. Not sure who beat him. I, I got to go back and really look through his resume and see who uh, whose accomplishment that was. 23 KOs. The guy stands at 5'11", so he's what, two inches shorter than uh, Andre. But here's the most interesting fact about Stevenson. He has a 77 to 78 inch reach. It's a long, it's a long jab that'll be coming out there. So to me, this is a very intriguing fight. Stevenson would definitely have the six to seven inch reach advantage, which means Ward would have to work hard to get inside. And he'd also have to deal with the fact that Stevenson has power. Out of all the fights that I've seen Andre Ward in, I can't even say that I've seen anyone even get a clean punch on Andre to 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 say that he has like a like a granite chin. I can't even say that because the guy's been so dominant. He's given a lot of punishment, but he takes virtually no punishment. Great fighter. But I think that's going to be a challenge for him to get around. Stevenson the bigger puncher. I mean, so you're going he's going to have to be concerned. He's going to have to respect the fact that this guy is long, and he hits with power. But on the flip side, Ward is definitely faster. He has the faster foot movement, the faster hands. I'm going to say even go as far as to say the quicker reaction time. He also has the higher boxing IQ. Ward, for somebody with such little fights on his record, a lot of these guys that are on his resume are are well-known. I mean, he had to go through the Super 6 and just... The last years of his career might have kind of been frozen up there because of his uh, his contract and such things. But once again, this is a guy that nobody calls out. This is a guy that people avoid. They don't want any part of Andre Ward. And Ward also has the bigger fight experience. Ward's been in big fights. Where the chips were down against him and nobody, you know, knew who he was. And he had to come out there and prove himself. He's He's been at that level. Stevenson is still aiming to get to that level. So how is that going to play out? How is that going to factor in to the mindset 
of Stevenson going into this fight. I think this is a great fight. Looking forward, hopefully the promoters can make this fight happen. I think it's an intriguing matchup. Right now, I would say it's a pick 'em fight. It's a 50-50. I couldn't really go with, with, with Ward 100%, and I couldn't go with Steven 100%. Both these guys are really talented southpaws who have some natural advantages with them. And I think it'd just be a great fight for the boxing fans. It's something that the boxing fans would get excited about. And I'm really looking forward. Hopefully this matchup will actually take place. Now, all y'all tuned in, I want you to hit me on the comment section. Let me know how you feel about a potential matchup between Andre Ward and Adonis Stevenson. And hopefully we'll be able to get to see this fight sometime late next year. I, I, I know that they're, everybody seems like they're gunning after Sergey Kovalev. But whether Sergey fights Andre Ward or Donna Stevenson, I think either one of those guys have, to, have, a, have a good potential of beating him. And I'm not taking anything away from Sergey. Sergey's a good fighter. He's a big puncher. Um, I think his biggest win was, was against B-Hop. He actually had a flash knockdown against B-Hop. He was a great trainer, a real experienced guy over there. But these two guys are very talented, and I'd be very surprised to see him beat either one. And I'm, I'm just keeping it real and being honest right now. So, fight fans, tune in for the next one. I'm going to start bringing up topics of fights that should be made, not the fights that are actually being made sometimes, because sometimes the fights that are being made are fights that nobody wants to see. I'm sorry, but but some of these fights that they're, that they're putting all over TV, like, I'm not even interested in. I, I'm, I, want, I want something that's going to intrigue me and get me to spend my dollar on a pay-per-view event. And you can't just have bum fighting the bum and expect me to to to, to fork over uh fifty dollars, or or these boring fights where you're paying sixty, seventy, eighty dollars for a pay per view event and there's literally no action whatsoever. I think this is a fight right here that would be action packed, great for the fans. Big money fight, love to see it. And I, and I guess that's it. That's all I got to say about this right. All right, folks, tune in next time for the next episode of Fixed Physics. This is the mighty mean Joe Frazier. As usual, please subscribe, leave your comments. Love to hear what you have to say. All right, one.